हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल एंड चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू योर यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस बर्काउसेंस क्राइटेरियन फॉर सेल्फ सस्टेन ऑसिलेशंस लेट्स एगेन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग टू दैट ऑफ बर्काउसेंस क्राइटेरियन फॉर सेल्फ सस्टेन ऑसिलेशंस लेट वी अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज ऑसिलेशंस oscillations basically produced by using an oscillator so oscillator is an electronic device which consisting of active and passive circuit elements to produce either sinusoidal or non sinusoidal waves if the wave we produced like this then it is called sinusoidal waves if uh, the wave like this then that are called as non sinusoidal waves this type of waves are produced by using an oscillator an oscillator is useful to produce that kind of waves and that uh, oscillator uh, is made by using active or passive elements passive elements like resistor capacitor or inductor active elements like transistor we can use these active as well as passive elements in order to create an oscillator and by using that oscillator we produced either sinusoidal waves or non sinusoidal waves this sinusoidal waves we called as on damped waves on damped or sustained on damped or sustained non sinusoidal waves are called damped that are not sustained now we have to create an oscillator by using an amplifier and that amplifier is feedback in amplifier let we take uh, amplifier having gain a it has input signal voltage vs and output signal vo load resistance rl feedback network having feedback fraction beta so some of the output 
now provided to that of input by using the feedback network. So, the output voltage is equal to A times of that of input voltage. Here, let the input voltage is V i that output voltage is the input to that of feedback network having feedback fraction beta. Therefore, feedback voltage is equal to beta times of output voltage V O or V F is equal to beta times in place of V O we substitute A V I or V F is equal to A beta V I. For positive uh, feedback amplifier that input voltage is equal to signal voltage plus feedback voltage. Here the voltage gain the voltage gain voltage gain of a positive feedback amplifier which is A dash is equal to A divided by 1 minus a beta that expression we have already derived and equation number one a is the voltage gain of the amplifier without feedback and beta is the feedback fraction where a voltage gain of the amplifier without feedback and beta that is the feedback fraction if we put to that denominator 1 minus a beta if we put 1 minus a beta is equal to 0 then equation 1 becomes a dash is equal to a by 0 that is infinity that equation number 2 but a dash as we know a dash a dash which is the voltage gain of a positive amplifier output voltage to input voltage output voltage V O to that of input voltage V S where uh, V S that is input voltage input signal voltage and V O output voltage
as we say a dash is equal to infinity that is equation number 3 therefore v 0 divided by v s is equal to infinity what it, it indicates it indicating that if uh, v s is equal to 0 then v 0 not equal to 0 means the output voltage exists even if uh, in the absence of input voltage therefore output voltage exists even if uh, in the absence of input signal in the absence of input signal so one minus a beta is equal to zero which implies a beta is equal to one equation number four and that equation a beta the product of gain into feedback fraction is equal to one which is called the circuit gain a into beta circuit gain is equal to 1 that is the condition for self sustained oscillations this is Barkhausen Barkhausen criteria for self sustained oscillations look here if uh, 1 minus a beta here i can analyze it if uh, 1 minus a beta is less than 1 1 minus a beta is less than 1 that is the feedback that feedback to the input voltage at the output we obtain the signal it is gradually decreased the type of oscillation is called undamped oscillations again if uh, 1 minus a beta is greater than 1 then we obtain the oscillation like this again it is an on dab type of oscillations if uh, our requirement means 1 minus a beta is equal to 0 if 1 minus a beta is equal to 0 then we obtain a sinusoidal oscillation and that type of oscillation is undamped and which is called the sustained oscillations here that the sustained oscillation is called self sustained oscillation uh, because 
the output voltage we exist even in the absence of that of input signal means that feedback is used to such kind of input therefore we obtain and sustained oscillations as we say in case of uh, amplifier if uh, we use a signal if we use a signal that is the input signal let input signal at output we obtain the amplified signal as amplifier having gain a and that uh, signal to the input of that uh, feedback network from that of output of that of feedback network some part of that of output signal having same phase the input signal and the output signal are under the same phase so that kind of phase we achieved by taking a well known amplifier by using that amplifier no phase shift occur and from that of feedback we obtain the signal which is same phase to that of input signal therefore self sustained oscillations achieved by using that condition so first condition a beta is equal to 1 and the second condition the net phase shift Here the Berkensen criteria for self-sustained oscillation as the feedback factor, the feedback factor is one. That is, a into beta is equal to one. And next point. The net phase shift, the net phase shift around the loop must be zero or an integral multiple of. Two pi. These two are the criteria that proposed by Barkhausen for self-sustained oscillation. If that uh, criteria is satisfied, then we obtain sustained oscillations at the output of that given feedback in amplifier. So, here with the help of this video lecture, we understand Barkhausen's criterion for self sustained oscillations. These two are the Barkhausen's criterion. One is the feedback factor is one, another one is the net phase shift around that total loop must be 0 or integral multiple of 2 pi. If these two criteria are satisfied, then we obtain self sustained oscillations in case of feedback in amplifier. So, with this useful and informative notes, let me wind up this session. Thank you.